I'm Pat Donovan Potts, the Stormwater Manager with the City of Jacksonville, and we are going to focus on the State of the River Address. The State of River Address is something that we do every year that is put on by the New River Roundtable. The New River Roundtable is a group of organizations that's focused on the health and the environment of the New River. The, these groups include the city, the county, the New River Foundation, the Cooperative Extension, UNCW, NC State, um, as well as other organizations like the, the White Oak River, the base, and the air station. We've been sitting on the New River Roundtable for a number of years, and each year we try to focus on some different aspect that we would find interesting to our local citizens on the New River. And this year, something new is recreational uses on the New River. And with me, we have George Howard, who is the owner-operator of On Shore Surf Shop. George, thank you for joining us this morning. Glad to be here. Well, it's a beautiful day to be on the river. It is, it is. George, I'd like to start with, if you could tell me, are you from the area? I'm originally from Richlands, but I've been living in Surf City for the last 18 years, running a surf shop. So you've been running the surf shop for 18 years? Yes, ma'am. If you're from Richlands, then, can you tell our listeners how you've been involved with the river growing up? Um, you're relationship to the New River? Well, I live on the east side of Richland, so we live pretty close to the New River. Okay. And uh, in my early teens, we pretty much grew up on it. I mean, we would, after school, we'd go down and play at the river. Um, as we got older and had families, we would do camping trips on the New River. We would take off from Richlands, canoes, and paddle back up to Richlands. About a two-day trip, but very enjoyable. Seen a lot of changes on this river over the years. George, could you please um, describe some of the positive changes on the New River that you've seen? Yeah, um, basically more recreational boating out here than what has been in the past, you know. A lot of people buying boats, a lot of people putting them on the river. Uh, a lot of people enjoying the parks that you guys are building. It's, it's amazing how many people on the weekend are on canoes, kayaks out here using facilities like you're building here. I think it's great. Um, as far as the quality of the water, mm -hmm. I'm not a biologist, I can't tell you. I know I'm seeing a lot of bait fish, a lot of birds, a lot of you know, regular fish. So if that's going on, the state of the river is in pretty good shape. And that is a good indicator when you've got increased uh, diversity in your fish and your birds. It shows that you've got a pretty good ecosystem. Oh, yeah. ecosystem. Ecosystem seems to be doing well. Awesome. Well, what are you on? Can you tell us today what, what you're standing on? Well, this is the newest craze. It came in from Hawaii about seven years ago, and it's just taken over leaps and bounds. Uh, this is stand-up paddleboarding. Uh, anybody can predominantly do it on flat water from 8 to 80. It's strenuous. It's a great upper body workout, uh -huh. core. And it, like I say, the best I can tell you is it's really taken off in the Carolinas. Uh, last weekend we had one of the biggest paddleboard races around in Wilmington. Uh, How many participants actually were in the race? The numbers I've got, I'm here upwards of 300. Oh, so wow. It was crazy. Wow. William Pope did a great job putting it on. Um, like I say, this is the fastest growing water sport out there right now. Nice. And do you have uh, paddle boards at the surf shop? We do. We sell them. We rent them. Uh, you can see I've got my instructors out back. We do lessons. Oh, okay. And um, like I say, no one can be too old, too young to paddle board. I mean, it's that easy. But once you get hooked, you're pretty much hooked. Do you see paddle boards on the New River? Is this a new recreational sport for our waterways? It is. As far as I know, I'm the first paddle boarder in Wilson Bay Park. I'm laying claim <laughs> to it. One of my team riders will probably dispute me on that, but uh, I'm going to lay claim to it. Um, like I said, as far as I know, we're the first paddle boarders out here. And uh, we go up around the marina, under the bridge, utilize the park up there. We just found this one today, thanks to you guys. <laughs> so we're going to start using it. Great. And uh, it's just a great thing. And the, the quality of the water is clean. So just come by the shop, grab a couple of paddle boards, and uh, go out and enjoy yourself. So what would you tell for someone that's never done this before? What would be the benefit of using a paddle board versus trying surfing or canoeing or kayaking? What's, what's the difference? Um, it's forgiving. If you go out, use the <laughs> right equipment, and you 
you get a good instructor to start with. Uh, our motto is, if you listen to us and you go out on the right board on the right day, we won't get you wet. Bottom okay. line, we'll keep you dry. Okay. So, and that's it. It's just product of using the right equipment on the right day. Okay. If you take wrong equipment on a day that the wind's blowing 15 knots, mm -hmm. uh, you're getting damp. No problem. Okay. Um, and what's the challenge? What... Just, it's just, standing, just you and the board and not falling much. in? Not falling in. You're constantly moving. Uh, first day that you try it, you'll utilize muscles you didn't realize you had. <laughs> you'll hurt all over it for the next day. But once you get that, you're good to go. I know what you mean by like, every time I go skiing, the, my yeah. muscles hurt. I mean, like I say, you're using your, your muscles in your feet that you didn't realize you had, your knees, your thighs. And then when you really get into it, you, you're really using your upper chest, arms, like I say, you're really stroking, so uh, it, it's definitely a plus as far as health-wise and recreation. It's a benefit all the way around. Well, that's great. Well, were, are there any things that you would like to add um, to our listeners about the surf shop in general? Oh, uh, yeah, we're a full-service surf shop. Like I say, we do kite boarding, we do paddle boarding, we do surfing. Okay. Um, we provide lessons for everything that we sell and do, so we can definitely hook you up. Um, we're... 35 minutes away from Jacksonville, so and everybody in Jacksonville that serves predominantly knows who we are. So okay, um, it's no big thing. Uh, like I said, I can't emphasize enough. You can come to the shop, rent you a couple of paddle boards. You can come back up here and paddle the river. We do them 24 hours. Come that morning, get you one. You get it that day and the next, and you can put in at the park there at USO. Paddling under that bridge over there is a hoot. If you hadn't ever did it, it's blast. And Paddling versus power boats, which there's nothing wrong with power boats, don't get me wrong. We need them, people enjoy them. But you just get out on this river on a day like today, you see so much wildlife, it's so peaceful. We seem to, in order to find peace within ourselves, we try to reconnect with nature. And uh, for someone that's been working on the river for so long, I'd like to see this new recreational use um, that just tells me again the river is getting better and better each year so oh, yeah. I'm glad that paddle boards have been brought to the new river and I hope to see more of it. Well if we have anything to do with it you will. Uh, uh, absolutely. Say it's a great pastime, great hobby, easy to get into once you initially purchase your paddle board. You, just, you don't have to put in gas, you don't have to put in oil, you just have to get on and paddle. So well, it's all up to you. Well, thank you, George. Thank you for you and your team for being here today. And I guess we'll watch you paddle off into the, I would say sunrise, but that's already up. So we'll, we'll watch you paddle off into the sun. Awesome. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Here.